<laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Emily Kennedy and I will be commentating the Glasgow Liverpool game. We are just now at Brooms Up. Glasgow initially gets the quaffle. Okay. Um, Glasgow initially getting the quaffle. Um, Bludger control immediately going to Glasgow. And the main hoop is down. That's been happening a lot today. Um, this is the an upper bracket game um, in the top. I'm not entirely sure what uh, places they're going for right now, but should be a good game nonetheless. Uh, these two teams are, were both at Highlander a couple weeks ago, um, but they did not end up playing each other, I don't believe, so this should be a fun and interesting matchup. All right, pass to Gavin, who kicked it on over, and in, no goal for Glasgow. Oh, in for Glasgow, nice. Two, with two hoops down. Four goal reps uh, for this set. Um, Liverpool is making their way down. Um, currently, Glasgow is in bludger control. Um, Chema, is that how you pronounce his name? I'm going to pronounce this really badly. I'm sorry in advance. But um, Chema being one of the best beaters uh, currently in the UK, as, as I have been told. So probably going to have a really strong bludger game from Glasgow. Um, again, missing, missing that beat right there. Um, pass to Chloe, Chloe Hemingway, who just got beat out on Liverpool. And Quaffle fumbled from Glasgow, but still in their possession for the moment. Yeah! All right, uh, Marcus, number seven, making a run in for it. Drive, getting sort of trying to get tackled by number 34 on Liverpool. And almost got taken down, but nope, still on his feet. Beat out, though. Liverpool keeper has the quaffle, bludger control still in the hands of Glasgow. Uh, Liverpool has some cool leggings. Uh, anyone's curious? Really supporting Chloe's right now. Um, okay, quaffle going in for a long shot that did not make. Oh, did not make it. Bludger control has gone to Liverpool for the moment. Um, we'll see how far long that lasts. Uh, current quaffle control with Glasgow making their way downtown. Walking fast, faces past in their homebound. Keeping a slow pass to Gavin Hughes, I believe, who is the current head coach for Scotland, which is making their first debut against Catalonia about next week. Uh, shot by Glasgow that didn't quite make it. Now trying to keep control over it. Anybody's quaffle back in the hands of Glasgow. Um, good fumble going in and goal for Glasgow. That was number seven, uh, the keeper for Glasgow with the goal. Um, Glasgow is, is, oh no, Liverpool still in control, uh, still in bludger control. Good on them. And are now making their way towards the Glasgow hoops. This leaves the current score at. Can I have the score, please? Huh? Okay. That leaves the current score 20 nil Glasgow. 20 nil Glasgow. Um, still only a couple minutes into this game, but uh, pretty strong so far on the Glasgow offense. Um, beater control is still with Liverpool. As the keeper number seven passes it, uh, pass a bit to the right there um, for the Glasgow keeper, but long pass back over the hoops, resetting it. Not an official reset. Um, the reset rules have recently changed, so that can be a little bit confusing. Um, good beater game there on the term on the head bit of Glasgow, but no shot from Glasgow. Liverpool has the quaffle, but has lost bludger control, tragically. Well, maybe not tragic, depending on who you are. Good for Glasgow. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> you can say anything you want about it. Yeah. Um, I will say now, I'm vaguely biased, I guess, towards the Scottish team, since I am currently on the St. Andrew Snidgets team. Uh, so, go, Sc go Scotland. Um, currently, four Scottish teams are qualified for PQC, St. Andrews being one of them, so it's very exciting. I'm standing next to the Glasgow sub box, if you can hear those chants. 
Um, okay, on the field right now, we have a bit of a tumble for the, ooh, that was a hard down for Liverpool, and Broom's down for injury. Um, that was a, yeah, looks like Liverpool is down possibly with a knee or a leg injury. Um, unsure if it was illegal or not, just might have gone down hard. Um, and we will be waiting. It is a current sort of things. Um, do we know, by the way, what for what place this is? Um, where in the brackets this is? Oh, uh, this is in uh, quarterfinals. Okay, yeah. quarterfinal. Look at us. Very exciting over here. Um, so we're here for the quarterfinals. Um, it has been a really fun two days, um, sort of being here at Northern. We are at Sheffield Hallam University, and it is currently beautiful. It is sunny, um, partly cloudy, lots of blue sky, and still a little chilly. It is worth mentioning that no matter if, if a team loses, if they, if they lose, it will be qualifying to that's go a, into the semi-finals for the European Championship. Oh, qualifiers. cool. So um, both of these teams are going to EQT? No, no, no. Uh, the one which loses uh -huh. will have the chance to claim a spot okay. in a separate uh, bracket. Okay. Re sort of uh, saying that for those of you possibly listening out there. Um, basically, the winner of this team will definitely be going to the European um, Cup qualifying tournament. The loser of this team will still have the ability to uh, be able to, based on how the rankings and a, and a separate bracket go down. Um, so both of these teams have a chance to get into EQT, but the winner will be guaranteed a spot. Both of these teams, however, are indeed going to the British Quidditch Cup, BQC, um, in April of 2019, which is going to be held in the scary north. I say as both of these teams are part of the north. We're all part of the north. It's the scary actual north, north as well. <laughs> it's, it's Newcastle, like actually it's, north. It's, not north <laughs> it's incredible. It's south from Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> it's south of Inverness, it's not north. It's south yeah, of Inverness. Okay, <laughs> um, who is this that's speaking with me? Um, my name is Henry. Um, I was called to ref. Um, I was about to ref. Uh, what is the word? Qu uh, commentate this game. Um, I was called to ref, but my knees are in a lot of pain. So oh no! I came back here. Uh, hey, they found a replacement good. since ref. And so, uh, if anyone yeah. is surprised that there's like nothing going on on the camera, I had to move it out yeah. away because uh, someone is injured. Yep, someone is currently injured with first aid on, so we are not showing that on the camera because that's not the best thing in the world to do. Uh, what happened? Yeah. Um, somebody went uh, down hard uh, on a tackle. Unsure if it was uh, cleaner. People were fumbling for the quaffle and fell, but it looked like a leg. He was clutching his knee, so uh, hopefully, n hopefully nothing too serious. Is First that Dan Harrison? It is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could, I could make the camera here with you if you want. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, please no. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a we had a fun hard game against Nottingham earlier, um, in which we did so last year. Um, also, I believe Snidgets got out because of Nottingham. Uh, we we played Nottingham on the first day. Mm -hmm. It was our last game of the first day, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure what happened because I left the back the pitch on a stretcher. But oh. <laughs> um, if we yeah. had won that game, we would have got to BQC. Uh, but we didn't. So yep. on Sunday we had some other playoffs for BQC. We didn't make it. So it wasn't. Well, I don't want to say it's their fault, but um, <laughs> it wasn't directly <laughs> their uh, their win that caused us not yep. to get to BQC. It was a series of losses. Yep. Um, but but uh, we still got to BQC this year. So. Yeah, yeah. But so um, oh, and Dan's coming off. Dan's coming off. Um, no. I was just going to say you are. I don't, but I've been there. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to text him say no, it's not. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, but anyways, yeah, so for last year, uh, Actually, uh, please, I'll get it. Snidgets get it. Uh, lost to Nottingham like 25 to nil. But uh, this year, even though we still lost, it was um, before, Sn it was about 130 to 40, which is infinitely better. And then 250 to nil. All right. Uh, each, uh, each, for those of you who might not be as well versed in Quidditch who are watching, um, each time the quaffle, which is the volleyball looking thing, um, goes through one of the hoops that is a 10 points. So saying 25, 250. Is um, for those of you who haven't watched Harry Potter. For those of you who haven't watched Harry Potter, also. Um, though the Snitch is worth 150 points in Harry Potter, so very different there. Here, the Snitch will only be worth 30 points. Um, do you think that's our Quaffle, by the way? Quentin? Yeah, he looks like Quentin. I, I think a lot of people use the well, Quentin style of Quaffle. Okay. Quentin is the name of our Quaffle. Um, um, we also have uh, one named Queenie as well. Queenie and Quentin Quaffle. It's definitely not spicy quaffle. No, spicy quaffle. I think we have quite a queen. Okay, good. I'd be surprised if they were using it, but I mean, they were. I don't care. Um, 
All right, looks like in the near future, uh, game time will be resuming. What's the what's the time right now? Um, the current the time in the real world or in the game world? Uh, the game world. Um, I'll, I'll go find out. Okay. I'll go find out. Okay, so, yeah. we'll get it. And can you get a score check? I think it's 20 nil still. But 2010. Hello. Um, all right, currently 2010. Um, Glasgow, Liverpool. Also behind me, I will make a note, we have Edinburgh Firsts uh, playing the Manchester Minotaurs. Yes, Manticores. It is 2010 to Glasgow, um, mm -hmm. and the score at this time is five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, do, you want, do you want the blanket? I would love the blanket. <laughs> it's freaking cold. <laughs> We're under a blanket right now. Heckin' cold. You all right? Oh, it's a Google blanket. Look yeah, it's at a, you. Yeah. You're so fancy. Computer story behind this Google blanket. <laughs> we'll get back to the game. Okay, okay, so. Game is live. That's Chloe Hemingway with a couple. She's protected by, I don't know his name, but he's a beater. Um, um, Glasgow is still in bludger control. Not surprising because Chema is still on the field. Oh, oh nice shot and oh. beat. There's lots of beats flying over the place. The possession oh. of the quaffle flew over several times, but we're back to square one and Liverpool still have the quaffle. Yeah. Uh, oh, Hemingway. Ooh, that was ooh, intense. a long sort of way down and nice catch there. Going for the drive. Uh, Missed. That, I the thought that went through. But I thought that went Oh, someone's sitting on the broom. That was. They are not. They are dismounted. But Glasgow has the ball. Cool. Um, number seven. <laughs> keeper with the ball. Going in for a drive. Ooh, just, just missed the top of the hoop. Hit the top of the hoop and it is de hooped. Just happening a lot this weekend. Yeah, hoops are not the best. I mean, we are very happy that Sheffield is hosting us. Yes. No, I, I don't mean to <laughs> say that hoops aren't good. I mean that hoops in general aren't the best. That's um, true. I've struggled to find a set of hoops that doesn't fall apart. Mm -hmm. Yep. They are literally hula hoops in PVC pipe for those of you who uh, have never actually played against them. Which is, Quidditch is a very sort of good utility sport, you know? It's PVC pipe, it's yeah, dodgeballs yeah. and volleyballs. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, Liverpool making in for a drive, and oh, That was intense, okay, so Liverpool bringing it back to 2020, yes. I believe. Yes, and that goal was by number 17, the current Liverpool keeper, who's very tall. So this is a Liverpool beater with three numbers on his shirt, and I'm not sure if that's... <laughs> well, I'm sure it's fine, yep. um, but yeah. yeah. Um, oh, Glasgow well, making a play at the pitch. Getting tackled, and he Ooh. just pulled it down Ooh. himself. himself. That was a uh, interesting beater game there. Chemo went down oh, hard. Chloe Hemingway coming in to try and pick up the ball. Oh, and Chloe's mess. got it's it. it. Scramble, oh, and the broom's, broom's down. down. Probably because that was uh, Gavin Hughes and Chloe Hemingway going um, neck and toe and toe for the quaffle there. Yep, yeah, it was 2020. Mm -hmm. It's 2020. Um, Chloe Hemingway has a really cool rabbit that has its own Instagram. Um, oh yeah, I love that. It's a great. It's called Fudge. <laughs> yeah, it's like the light of my life currently on Instagram. <laughs> Hopefully. Do you soon. know what the call was there? Um. Headbutt. Headbutt. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Christ. Is that what you're gonna say? No, I'm. Was it the beater tackle over there, or was it um, the chasers with the quaffle? I don't know. I, I was looking at the quaffle, and mm -hmm. I didn't see anything mm -hmm. scrambled over. Yeah, everyone was going off the quaffle. Yeah. But, uh, no one's there. Yeah. I feel like nobody ever intentionally headbutts in Quidditch, so odds oh, yeah. are it was certainly an accident. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have headbutted. Oh, a, a blue card. Yeah, blue card. Blue card to... Yellow card. Yellow card to... Oh, I did see that. Okay, so that was a little while ago. The Glasgow keeper was down by Liverpool's hoops and he got tackled. He landed on someone, which is mm. fine. It's not his fault. Um, but I think when he got back up, he... Um, and he, I think he kind of pushed back a little bit yeah, yeah, um, yeah. in a way that caused a headbutt to happen. Ah. That's my understanding right now. That is Marcus, number seven, on the Glasgow team current pa old keeper who is now currently out as well as Marcus. Marcus, what are you me? Liverpool beater who might have been the one who got the blue card um, all right
right. Well, so the uh, so currently Glasgow is down one chaser and uh, Liverpool is down one beater. Um, how this works uh, for penalties is basically you either spend one minute in the sort of um, penalty box and your player your team is down a player either it, for the full minute or until the opposing team scores so we shall see on how that happens and it's never a fun time to be a player down um, or multiple players down <laughs> so that is 14 out from Liverpool and number seven out from Glasgow the time is tw or the time is probably about seven-ish minutes in, and we're 20 all. Ooh, a nice tackle by Glasgow while Liverpool drives in, and a score for Liverpool. So that is number seven um, back in for Glasgow, and the score is currently 30-20 Liverpool. Chloe Hemingway chilling by the quaffle. And Glasgow is still in Bletcher control. They briefly lost it earlier in the game, but so far has kept it the entire time. Past That's Gavin Hughes. They are... Oh, long pass and goal in. Number seven on Glasgow. So that uh, rounds up the team at the time, the score as 30 all. Uh, that goal being scored means in the Liverpool meter can come back into play. Um, either that or a minute past. I mean, both is fine. Yeah. Um, in and now both teams are at full squads of six. <laughs> Liverpool beater comes on. And he's very excited to play. He's very hype. Oh, face beat. <laughs> number fourteen just face beat at number nineteen. Yeah, she's not look happy about that. No, no. Uh, view, right. Lads go back with the ball and still with bludger control. That was doing a I looked away for a second. Fun napalm. I know bludger terminology. <laughs> Look at you with your big beat your brain. <laughs> Alright. Number seven making a long pass again and another long goal that for Marcus. Just happened, just pretty much the same yeah. thing that happened again. Uh, um, 40 30, I believe. Let's go. So a long shot went through the hoops. Mm -hmm. um, Not entirely easy to do. Oh, there she is. Rix is on pitch now. <laughs> it's about to get real. Isn't um, Glasgow the team that has typically smaller hoops um, on their home pitch? Yeah, so from my experience playing in Glasgow, they, unless something's changed recently, they have like smaller hoops and like, it's more than the regulation size um, and they're held up by traffic cones. So my theory is that Glasgow practice with such tiny hoops that they get so good at top uh, shooting at a small target, then when they get to play with big hoops, it just goes in every time. It's 40 30 to Glasgow. Mm -hmm. um, and. One second. Tim, what's the current time? Time. So, a big Marcus with the quaffle, Liverpool chaser trying to get it off him. He's just too tall, though. Yeah. And we are about 10 minutes in. That's 10 minutes on the score clock. And another long shot by number seven, uh, Marcus on Glasgow. So the current score is 50-30 when we're about 10 minutes in. So that's the third time that Marcus has just thrown a hoop, uh, shot right over everyone's heads, I think. Something needs to change here for Liverpool. Yeah. Maybe they should prep, put more pressures on Marco with their beaters. Mm -hmm. Marco, Marcus with their beaters or or have a, a defense that's better suited to uh, long shots occurring. Uh, Fun beater game going. Oh, a block from number seven. Liverpool, causing the hoops to Liverpool go down. Uh, keeper just crashed into a hoop. Uh, uh, let's go back on the offense. Keepers do that. <laughs> Crash it into hoops. Could you be possibly talking about me? <laughs> Marcus coming in. And oh, pops it. another oh, one. Oh. Beautiful. And Asraf called it no good. Oh. The goalkeeper. Uh, goal, oh, still alive. Yeah, still alive. That goal wow. was no good. That is... Not that I'm making ref calls, but that was very surprising. I think... I, I don't really know what happened, though. Maybe he got beat before? That's my assumption. Okay. Okay. Um, that was a confirmation on that did get beat before. And... Another that was another long, from a different uh, player from the current Glasgow keeper, but another sort of that longer pass going in. They must be really secure with their uh, shooting techniques rather than doing a lot of drives. Hey, if it works, it works. Yeah. Um, 
pleasure control is still, shockingly, with Glasgow. Yeah, I mean, came out of Newland, or, it's a hard time to play against them. Like, <laughs> I know that all too well. What uh, QPL team does can we play for? Uh, so, last summer, uh -huh. um, he was playing for Scottish Thistles, uh -huh. um, which is an absolute joy. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if he'll be playing this year. Um, I don't know what his situation is. Um, oh, the Glasgow yeah. player just oh. dragging through several Liverpool chases nice. and still gets it through. That was beautiful. I'm a rage, guys. Let's do this. Um, so the score yeah. is now. Let me just double check. Okay. Um, perfect. There is a. Um, Liverpool is asking for a timeout right now. Probably good plan since what's the score? It is 7 3 to Glasgow. Glasgow yep. just out of swim range. Yeah. Yep. So good time for a uh, timeout. They've been. Um, Glasgow has done a number of quick goals against them. And so good time to sort of break that momentum and maybe try a new strategy. So, Jesus is a smart person. I'm mm -hmm. sure. They'll have seen what we've seen. My brain is already small. Jesus is a very large brain. Is, so, uh, who is Jesus? Jesus is, as far as I know, a coach for Liverpool. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't play anymore. Um, but um, yeah, they have good technical knowledge. And I think they will be trying to address something about these these long shots going right over their heads. Mm -hmm. um, if it were my team, I would pull us into compact defense. I don't mm -hmm. know if, it's on Liverpool, if that's something that's on Liverpool's uh, repertoire. Um, but uh, that's a good word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, but they're going to need to do something or these shots are just going to keep flying over their heads, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Photo op. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so timeouts are um, only a minute long, which see is very, very fast when you're actually in them. Um, yeah. Seems a lot longer when you're just sort of chilling, waiting for them to be done. But yeah, it's a so real quick time. Ref calls at 45 seconds Five and at 15 seconds, seconds later. Brooms up her cold, regardless of if you're at your broom or not. So it's in your. We're getting a time, time check. check. Twelve thirty-four. Twelve thirty-four. <laughs> That's a very, a very nice. The Glasgow keeper is very nice. I gave him a snickerdoodle earlier. <laughs> you have so many snickerdoodles. It's unreal. They're almost gone. I think they might be gone, actually. That's impossible. It's tragic. Um, snickerdoodles for you, British audience, <laughs> are delicious cookies. So. Um, Let's see if Liverpool's game changes now. Yeah. Off that timeout. Um, no long, still don't have ledger control. Um, I don't know if. And I really hope you all got to hear that on the over the live stream. It was a very close shot. Um, that was a uh, sort of just. Cap from number seven inter intercepting it in the air. But number four did manage to take him down. Um, I thought that whacked off the hoop, but yeah, no. A goal in for Glasgow, so that currently is the score 80 um, 40? Oh, maybe 7 80 30? 80 30. 80 30, that sounds about right, yep. Um, I'm not sure what this Bramjan is for. Um, the refs are talking to the Liverpool captain. Um, <laughs> He's doing the symbol for advantage. I'm not sure what he's talking about, um, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Can you describe what advantage is for our listeners out there? Okay, uh, so uh, an assistant ref, if they see a foul, they, um, they don't have the as far as I know, they don't have the authority to call a bruise down. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they put one arm in the air and point the other arm towards the hoops of the team that did not commit the foul, I think. Um, it's, it, they point their hands to a team. Um, uh, yellow card. And then the ref calls a bruise down at an appropriate moment once they've seen the refs have taken advantage. Um, um, I'm not sure what happened there. Can you, do you know what it was? Uh, no, it was a yellow card for a keeper. Um, keeper got the card? Not, not a keeper, I'm sorry, chaser. Um, do you know what the card was for? What was your card? Oh! Tackle was for someone without a ball. Yeah. Uh, that's not a... F f a um, foul that I have ever seen in person before so I think you're lying because that happened to Harry about two hours ago Harry yeah did he get tackled without a ball no he tackled someone without a ball oh, that's how he got his second <laughs> yellow into a red oh so Glasgow still have control I thought he got he was getting it for getting hitting a tackle from behind 
Um, so he had two cards, so I think one of them was... Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're trying to do a... A, a press, uh, like a very high press for Glasgow. That's what they're good at. They did it at Dev Cup and they walked all over everyone with their high press. Um, just, their video lineup is so strong. It's just... Has, um, come on, subbed off yet? No, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> no. This is a very high intensity game. I think he's he wants to stay on the whole team. Oh. Where's the kerfuffle? Cloth is just hanging around by Liverpool's hoops. Yeah. Bit of a beater kerfuffle going on by mm -hmm. uh, Glasgow's half. Mm -hmm. um, Glasgow's doing really high pressure, so it, Liverpool hasn't quite made it into the the half with their hoops yet. <laughs> the minutes passed, and the Glasgow chaser is back on after tackling someone without ball. Number twenty-one. So. The Liverpool captain has the ball right now. Mm -hmm. um, he's taking it slow. Um, he's got now the, he's Caper. Passed off the pressure. What worry, they're hanging a lot around the half line, which gives a vague worry for a reset, but a little illegal reset. Oh, and turnover after a beat. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Chloe just basically dismounted him. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice, Chloe. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my God. gosh. <laughs> so, for those who didn't see that, Camo just... There was a shot coming in, and Kira just threw his bludger in the air, and it bounced the bottle right off. Oh. That was the cheekiest little <laughs> Beautiful. And Glasgow coming right in back with the counter attack. I didn't even see that, because I was Gorgeous. Really talking about Kima, but oh my gosh. <laughs> Number 24 with a... Uh, the keeper with a hit. Uh, seekers are being called, so that means it's probably around 15, 16 minutes. So soon we'll have a snitch on pitch. Um, so for the official rules for that is that at 17 minutes, the snitch, a person in yellow shorts with a sock and a tennis ball hanging um, like a tail, uh, will go on pitch, and then we'll have one seeker from each team trying to catch that snitch, and the game does not end until they do. I do not believe we have a time cap at this tournament. Um... I don't know either, but um, sometimes there's a 45 minute time cap. Yeah. Um, so, Liverpool are probably going to be doing defensive seeking right now, mm. which is when they basically. Could, put what's their the current seat. score? Uh, it's 80 30, but I think okay. a, goal was just scored, a goal was just scored, so I think it might be 90 30. Okay. Uh, either way, Glasgow are ahead um, and out of swim. So, I think Liverpool are going to want to put their seeker. In fact, I, I know that the Liverpool want to put their seeker in a defensive position mm -hmm. um, between themselves. Or to put themselves between the snitch and the Glasgow seeker mm -hmm. to try and stop that and, getting caught. Yeah, and to give them some time to maybe catch back up and put themselves in swim. When yes. we say swim, that means that the snitch, whoever catches the snitch wins the match. Yeah, snitch when it matters is the acronym. Mm -hmm. uh, no cards officially happened there, just uh, back to hoops. Okay. What was it for? Um, number 14 on the beater. Um, might have done something with the ball, I think. Oh, it was a warning. Bludger control still impressively with Glasgow. But yeah, Glasgow's doing a really high point. So I don't think there's been I mean, more than a minute in this game where Glasgow haven't had control. Yeah. That being said, um, no, no, never mind, pardon me. <laughs> They're trading one for one, but that doesn't matter when you still have four up. Nice little beater game having there. Oh, and Liverpool have control. <gasps> Look at them! There was a bit of a scrap. Um, the Liverpool beater immediately knew when he had immunity and immediately put his fist up. And, yeah. Oh, face beat, number 14. Oh, and that was a double beat. That was a bounce beat. That's something I've never seen before, actually. Nice. So Liverpool have control now. So the, the This would be a good time to do a big play. Yeah, this is their time. And just nice. like that, they pop it through, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, the keeper, I believe, number 72. Is it 90 40? Yes, I should be 90 40. Ross, do you know what the score is? 80 40. Okay, pardon me, not 80 90. Um, I don't know why. Um, I must have miscounted, but it's now 80 40 to Glasgow. Long pass over towards the Glasgow chaser. She's turtling, currently turtling it, which is the technical term for sitting on it, and it is as, like, and you are wrapping around it like your shell. Ooh, and a brooms down, possibly. So I saw a little kerfuffle over by the Liverpool hoops where 
I only saw halfway through, but it looked like Kamo was wrapped up by a little beater and kept bouncing the blood uh, dodgeball off the beater's head, but the beater was not letting go. I'm not mm. sure if they were unable to because of the, the way they were tied up or whatever, but Kamo looked quite frustrated. He was bouncing that ball off the guy's head quite a few times. Um, and I think that might be what this brooms out is for. I'm not sure. Um, that is the ref that was the ref that was watching that whole thing happen is doing the talking right now in that ref meeting so I think that might be it okay um, there was also a bit of a chaser tackle over sort of towards the Liverpool uh, sub box so could be either one could oh, be both could be both um, yeah sometimes there's situations where someone's on top of you in a way that you can't get out mm. and you might be beat but you can't go back to your own hoops um, it's a little bit frustrating wait, for everyone involved. Um, currently, Snitch is on pitch, but Seekers are not yet, so we're about 17 minutes into the game. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. players hugging each other, it looks like. Uh, it's Kamer talking to the ref. He's raising his arms. He's describing something. Um, I'm not sure if is the Liverpool kept? chaser is in the wrong here or if Kamer's in the wrong for getting frustrated about that uh, Kamer is not the captain okay. it is um, Matej I don't okay. know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but his name is spelt M-A-T-E-J okay um, I think it's Matej because he was at the coach's meet, the captain's meeting so yes I'm pretty sure it is but, uh, yeah Seekers are chilling. We have uh, 87, uh, number 87, Ross for the Glasgow, and uh, 39, I believe that name is Reynolds on the team for Liverpool. And. What's happening right now? There's some pointing happening for the refs. So, Kim is throwing his dodgeball all the way back to where his little incident happened. So, Kim just said he was repeatedly beating someone, but. Um, so that must be why he went, and he got to go back to hoops. Yes, he got back to hoops, and now he's subbing off. Um, uh, so that means the budget control is still in Liverpool's hands. Um, it seems as though Kemba is not very happy about this ref call. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a high-intensity match, it yep. means. And then with these high intensity matches, it's one of those things where ref calls sort of put everyone a little bit on edge. So that's Alice taking Kamer's place on pitch, uh, trying to rip the, the ball out of the Liverpool beat's hand, but unsuccessful in that one. Liverpool still have control. Yeah. Um, this might be the turnaround they need. Um, yeah. We'll see how it comes off. The sneakers are now on pitch. I did that classic mistake of calling them sneakers. That's Ross oh, Wiseman wow. and immediately Immediate. grabbing catch. the snitch there. As soon as the Glasgow beater went off, um, or the, sorry, the, yeah, the Glasgow beater came on and immediately beat out the Liverpool defensive seeker, which gave the Glasgow seeker an opportunity to just go for it. That is Ross Wiseman. He is. Yeah. It look, yeah, it looks pretty clean. Um, it's hard to say if he was applying the, the correct type of force. Like, mm -hmm. you can't push a stitch in certain ways. Mm -hmm. But um, it looked pretty clean, yeah. Yeah. That would be a very fast snitch catch. Like, 20 second kind of snitch catch. Wild. 10 second snitch catch. 10 second snitch catch. I was just Are we being informed. Was counting? <laughs> the score is 80 40, so the difference was 40 anyway. Oh. Okay, so that, that was game. Good. So that means leaves the final score for 110 to 40. Um, Glasgow officially going to the European qualifying tournament, and uh, Liverpool still having an opportunity um, if they win later games. But all in all, a very fun quarterfinal to watch. Very quick, very fast paced. Um, final score 110 to 40. 110 to 40. Snitch catch on Glasgow. Liverpool looking very. Overall, quite count disheartened of the cards, too. There were two yellow cards in Glasgow. Number seven and number twenty-one. But zero cards. Zero cards for uh, the mm -hmm. losing team. Awesome. Well. This is, uh, so sort of quick minor analysis, um, yeah, Glasgow definitely had insane bludger control, which really helped them at the end of the day, I think. Yeah, I mean, they all picked it up towards the end, mm -hmm. um, but Ross was just too quick. Yeah. He was, he came in there in 10 seconds flat and just picked it up. Wild. Um, legendary snitch catch. Well, that is Emily Kennedy uh, and... Uh, Henry Williams. Oh my God. Signing out from the commentating for this match. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.